Hey now, Taurus, this is a relationship reading for you. And like, oh my goodness, look at this major arcana, like selection that has come out for you. We've got this temperance, this earth angel card. We've got the defender. We've got strength and we've got the keeper of vessels. Okay, so huge, huge three major cards here. What does this mean for you and your partnerships? Now, I'm speaking with people here. Uh, this is romantic partnerships. This can be a business partnership. But this is about, I'm really talking more towards leaning into the romantic end of things here for you. I feel like some of you have already coupled. <laughs> That's the word spirit gave me. And you're kind of already, some of you might already be in a relationship. Some of you might be learning uh, or waiting, you know, trying to find the right person, trying to pick that right person. And I, I feeling like spirit is dead on here, healing family issues. Okay. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, um, and past actions. Okay. This is where this temperance cards come in. All right. We are all beings of soul light. Okay. Uh, we all came here with baggage. That's part of the process, part of uh, the timeline that the planet is going through. And um, some of you might be trying to do this while you're with somebody. Some of you, Taurus, I feel like it was absolutely necessary for you to be in a relationship, to be calm enough to address these family issues. Okay, some of you might be settled with somebody and are having doubts or you're feeling restless here. Okay, no that you are being divinely guided here, okay? Whether you are by yourself trying to struggle through these things, thinking that, you know, when is it gonna be my time? And, you know, why can't I have somebody to go through this with? Know that you are being divinely guided through this. And this is about you building strength of heart, integrating the heart. I know a lot of you Tauruses keep your biz together. You take care of lots of other people, excuse me, <clears throat> okay? And the, the journey here has been learning how to take all the love and light that you show to other people and turn that inward to yourself in a genuine way. Be accepting of that, be receiving of that, have it actually flow and be part of your like daily lifestyle. I've got the game changer coming out for you. It's number 48. How confident you feel about magic and change. Excuse me. Let me get it so you can read it or take a screenshot. All right. Especially your ability to magically change yourself and your situation is crucial. Eight plus four goes into 12, which goes into three. Mind, body, spirit. Okay. I really am being led to tell you that if you want everything else, if you want to be happy, I feel like you have a lot of things, some of you, okay? And if you want to be happy, it's about really learning how to heal yourself here. Show yourself compassion. Uh, just so you guys know, I am certified in Compassion Key. If you're interested in setting up an appointment uh, with me, there are details in the description on how to reach out to me, okay? Um, you can leave it in the comments section. I also have Facebook Discord group is a great place to get a hold of me. Okay, uh, Messenger, things like that. All right, this has been about you really determining what you want to take with you into this next phase of your life. Some of you have had some tower moments, whether it's been accidents, whether it's been betrayals, whether it's been um, because you weren't paying attention, you were doing all the stuff for other people and you were burning yourself out, okay? And spirit wants you to understand that death card is about regeneration, okay? It's about transformation. Yeah, reunion of souls. Some of you might be planning a reunion of some sort or might be looking to draw in a soulmate that is from the past, Okay, I'm just going to get a clarifier. And I do want you to know that in this reading, I am going to read on your person as well. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. As you commit to yourself at a higher level, that's going to bring a higher level in your relationships. And I've got addictions are affecting your romantic life, codependency. 
okay? And this all has to do with how you respond. Whether it's you or your person that's dealing with addictions, and addictions can be work, it can be substances, it can be escapism, it can be a lot of things. How you deal with this is going to set the tone for every relationship that you're involved in, whether it's friends, whether it's family, whatever that is. We've got a Knight of Wands coming in here. Notice the feather. Another reminder that you are not alone doing this. I've also got a page of stars here in the reverse. Okay. You guys are really good at action. We've already established this. Okay. But is it aligned action? Like, uh, are you in your body while you're doing things? Do you take a moment out and take a breath? And say, how is my body feeling right now? How are my emotions? What is my heart saying to me? This is time to integrate that action. I see the beauty in me. I grow and develop my inner self in harmony with light and beauty. I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms. My intellect shines. And my inner, excuse me, my inner light grows. It's about a manifestation of light to you. I've also got everything turns to light. I work to improve myself, embrace all that life brings to me, and transform darkness into light. I allow myself to grow and become stronger. Do you remember we had that strength card back here? Right? Strength card. So this is really about internal stuff for you. Okay? I got a, a beep there to qualify that. Thank you, Spirit. Like a child, I discover joy in the simplicity of life. Happiness lies in magical moments, not in the material. Even the smallest joy is a great source of light. So it's about being grateful for being alive. It's about like stopping taking a breath when you're in the middle of work, looking around and saying, that is a beautiful plant. The sky, look at that cloud, right? It's not all about the material stuff here, Taurus. I feel like you guys know this. You've been working on this. Again, I feel like you guys, some of you have been in relationships and that's the only way that's been able to happen. Um, some of you, I feel like, feel like you might be outgrowing that partner. Okay. They're telling you to be fearless and stand strong. You deserve to be happy, Taurus. Okay. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have joy. Know that it comes from inside of you. That these are decisions that you have to make. Um, they're talking about getting into some creative projects to help you find that joy. 15 is 6 to 3. Mind, body, spirit again. So as you're weaving your web here, right, I also have perception coming out 42, which is also a 6. Ding. Okay, um, I'm going to pull a shamanism card for you. Yep, beautiful. Forgiveness. Some of you, I feel like, are battling with things. You might have been involved in situations where you had to do things that you didn't necessarily want to do. Or normally, you know, that went against your soul light, right? Um, and I feel like you need to process and forgive yourself for that. That's blocking that's blocking your transformation here and your integration. All right. We've got past, present, and future. They're all one. It's all one. You are who you are right here now in this moment. Take a breath and really resonate with that. I am right here right now. I am my past. I am my present. And I am my future right here in this moment in this breath. Okay? Okay. And it's about integrating that forgiveness, integrating those wounded aspects, healing them, showing them love to the point where then you can let go, uh, process some of these really heavy emotions that I'm feeling from you. This is blocking some of your opportunity here. The devil is coming up. Are you going to take the bait? Are you going to continue to deal with things the way you've always dealt with them and end up miserable, end up restless, end up, you know, blaming, not necessarily blaming other people, but feeling uncomfortable and feeling like you have to move on, which is a form of escapism here. Okay. Wow. I got a lot of cards popping out here. I did some tarot for you. 
to clarify this. I've got an Eight of Swords. I think you guys have been working to find clarity on this issue. I think you're forgetting to rest. This is a spiritual aspect. This is not material. I can't stress that enough. Okay? You've got to process the emotions. You've got to see things from a sacred, thank you, spirit, spirituality here. I do feel like you're farther along than you know. With this Nine of Pentacles coming out, spirit is with you. Again, you had three major arcana popping out here. I really believe the conflict, the inner conflict is over. You're recognizing the fact that you're new at this, you're a novice, and that it's okay. Okay? In fact, I really feel like you're in this King of Wands energy. You're already doing this integration stuff. Maybe this was a reminder for you that this is a growth period for you. All right. Now that I'm done doing that, I'm going to move some of these, and we're going to get into asking about your person here. Okay, and the relationship aspect. Let me get these out of the way. I'll leave these up as a reminder of where you need to be. Okay, this is about integration, right? So let's ask about your person now, spirit. <clears throat> what can what can you tell me about person uh, Taurus's person, please? Okay, what's coming out right off the bat here is nourishment, abundance, asking and receiving the cow. I feel like there's somebody in your life that really wants to give to you. Um, they do not see you as a burden. I think somebody needed to hear that. Okay, perception's coming out again. You heard me shuffle the cards, right? And uh, yeah, this has been about... A butterfly journey right a chrysalis like understanding that you are it's it's almost like you guys had your heart crusted over and you're chipping it apart and now it's healing and it's actually growing new cells i don't know how else to express it that's what i was shown okay truth this is about living in your truth you need to trust that whatever excuse me <coughs> whatever happens moving forward for you Okay, if you're in a relationship that maybe you feel like you're outgrowing or you're seeking a relationship, all right, it's about, it, it, Spirit wants me to tell you that whatever is there for you will be there for you. Your person is trying to make a decision about something here. I've got the seven of swords in reverse. We're talking about your person now. I'm going to ask for a couple more cards. Wow. Same card you got, right? The devil. Okay. Your person is in a situation right now where they're trying to make a decision. Okay. They're trying to take care of themselves. They've had a decision here to make that has been completely blocked. They're confused about something. It could be your relationship. And it stopped any action or growth here. It stopped the proactive growth. So if you're with somebody or you're interested in somebody and you're around that person, I would encourage them to do things for themselves, to get into that growth mindset again, right? Go take some time out, do something fun. What do you like to do? What makes you feel inspired? Okay, because they're in danger of the same thing that you are, which is doing the same repeat cycle here. Will you take the bait? They do not see themselves as birthing a new world. They don't see themselves as powerful as you see them is what I'm hearing. It has to do with their emotions just like yours. Okay? Two of stars. You've got a lot of twos out here. This person is struggling internally, whether they're uh, telling you this or not. That's what's happening. I feel like... You know, they're recognizing that they're kind of torturing themselves at this point. They are seeing that, but I don't feel like they have significant clarity, okay? Um, there will be somebody coming in here, whether it's you or somebody else, that's going to remind them that they have all the tools they need. They're fine just where they are, okay? Let me pull another deck here. I see a lack of confidence. 
I see a lack of value and I see a bunch of like, I just see this fog and confusion and it's kind of debilitating for them. I feel like it's really uncomfortable. Um, they are getting an ace of wands here. I feel like they're going to have an opportunity to move forward here. I feel like they will choose to move forward. And that I'm being told to have you respect their decision. Um, even if they walk away from you because they're kind of on guard and looking back at something and not understanding something, that doesn't mean they won't come back. I really feel like they need to be encouraged to take time for themselves here. You don't want somebody that's with you that's double guessing all the time. You know, that's a disservice to you and to them. And they might be so fogged up that they can't even see clearly that that's what they're doing. Yeah, I'm being told here that if they don't take care of themselves, it's going to lead to a tower moment. And we definitely don't want that. I'm grabbing another deck. Yeah, they've got the same card you do coming out. The Temperance, the Earth Angel in reverse. Okay? It's like you guys are so worried about each other that you're not taking care of yourselves. And you cannot come together as a partnership in a whole being past the duality of everything, right? In wholeness from the higher self, unless you're taking care of yourselves first. I feel like there's some fear there that, hey, if I take care of myself and I'm not paying attention to them, that they're going to walk away. And if that's the fear, I'm going to tell you right now that you're, you're not in the right space with this person because that's not what's supposed to be happening. You should be with somebody that you can grow with on a personal level, all right, without having to fear that if you are yourself and you're having a struggle that they're going to walk away. Yeah, the emperor's here. I feel like you need to reassure them that you're there. And I, I am hearing not to do it in words, not to tell them. Words are confusing. To just do something to let them know that whatever they decide is going to be okay. I've got partnership coming out here. Okay, let them know whatever they decide, tell them, literally show them, tell them, you need to take care of yourself. I'm here. We'll figure it out after we, after we get through this. We don't have to make any decisions right now because I feel like that's the problem is they're trying to force a decision here. It's about spirit, integrity, connection to the angelic realm, higher self, looking from that higher self, because if not, it's disruption. Okay, uh, some of you might find it advantageous to clean, clean the house, clean your space, clean your mind, right? To get some of that clarity, because I feel like you're both under this restriction here. And it's disrupting your movement. Okay, got through all that, right? Let's get into the future here for you. I'm going to grab another duck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Soulmate connection in the future for Taurus. After this, he, she, and this person and that person go through this process, what's coming in? All right, I'm going to take this codependency out of the way. We've got a knight of materials coming in here. Okay, here, I'm going to clear this out too. Let's get a clean space. All right, we've got a knight of materials. I've also got a Knight of Voices here. Notice how they're coming together. Okay? One is like the material world. One is the angelic realm. And they are coming together here in union. That's the whole point. This integration. Spiritual integration. Heart integration. Asking Spirit for another card because... Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> page of voices okay in the future you guys are going to actually start speaking your truth it might be tentative at first is what i'm hearing but it's going to bring in the sunshine as soon as you start speaking your truth you're going to feel better about everything some of you might have a friend that's a leo you might have a leo rising sun moon rising you know venus whatever you could have leo in your chart as soon as you start to speak your truth and do it in a graceful way, which is what we're learning how to integrate, to be graceful, to be respectful. As soon as you start doing that, you're going to feel this tremendous uplift of energy here. Okay.
Yeah. Hierophant again. You are being divinely guided through this, both of you. And this is for people that might not have anybody in their life as well. This is divinely given so that when you guys come together, you can have bliss and joy together. That you're not fighting these wounded aspects. Okay? That's what this has been about for you. And if you're with somebody, it's about learning how to give support to somebody on their own journey without enmeshing. Some things we have to do on our own, even when we're with other people. Okay? And there's a lesson in how to do that. How to do that with boundaries, how to do that with um, grace, how to do that with respect and encouragement, positivity for the other person, as well as maintaining yourself. That's life that think people go through things, right? It's not about enmeshment. Because right now, okay, you guys are blocking. We've got the four of inspiration in reverse and the 10 of materials in reverse. You guys are blocking the benefit. Thank you. And what comes after the sunshine spirit? Thank you. Okay. We've got, you're going to, it's going to be work to do this on a consistent basis. All right. And that's what you guys are learning here. I've got the eight of voices in the upright. Okay, it's about learning to speak your truth, setting yourself free here. You both have to set yourself free here to be able to move forward. And if you don't, there's a period of, there can be a period of stagnancy that's coming in. Okay, the result is going to be the queen of materials. Queen of materials is also spiritual value. Divine feminine aspect showing up here means nurturing, graceful, okay? Think of the divine masculine versus the divine feminine. That's what you're integrating now. That's what you're bring, You're both bringing into the relationship. And I really feel like, notice it's in the upright. Okay, that's what's going to come in. I'm going to grab another deck. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. You know what? I need to shuffle these. Give me a second. Wow. I've got Justice and the Moon coming out as I went to shuffle. Okay. These emotions are coming to you so that you can get justice. You both deserve to be happy here. You deserve to live in full joy and abundance. And this is how we do it. We integrate the heart space. Three of Pentacles, mind, body, spirit. There is going to be a victory here after you tame your beast. Notice the strength card that comes up here again. Okay, we've got another eight and a three. I'm hearing for some of you, within eight months, this is all going to be settled. You're going to be settled. Whether you're apart from somebody, whether you're in with somebody, in eight months' time, this is going to, you're going to be settled and you're going to be moving forward in balance here. Some of you might also have a friend that's a cancer. This is the card of cancer, the chariot here. Uh, water signs are very, very adept at working with emotions and seeing when other people are blocking emotions. Okay, again, this is a death. Death card shows me regeneration. Very different perspective, right? It's not all about the endings. Okay, I've got the fool. I've got the ten of cups. I've got an ace of cups. I've got the devil and I've got the eight of swords. So you have a choice here. You can either do this stuff now and gain this Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. This, is, this lesson is being divinely given to you. Rather than treating it as death, get into that moment of discovery. Understand that this is a learning process. Some of you might have to start from ground level, the full, to start this process, to develop this new life. Everybody's doing it. That's what the whole planet is doing in a lot of ways, right? Or... You can take the bait and go through this cycle again. If you decide not to address this, you're going to have to repeat the cycles. Okay? I'm going to pull a couple more cards for you. What help can we give to Taurus? Peacekeeper. 
Let go of the need to be right. Let go of the need to be right. It's not about being right. If you're from a higher perspective, it's not about that. It's not about conflict. It's not about any of that. It's like, okay, I'm trying to understand how you feel. I'm trying to tell you where my limitation is. Let's see if they match. If they don't, well, let's figure something out, right? Stand your ground. Okay. Or do you want to repeat the cycle? I keep seeing Pete and repeat. And this is really about moving beyond the ancestral patterns here. Okay? Not to mention your own. Connect with your emotions. Again, you might have a friend that's a cancer that can help you to do that or a water sign. I hope this has been helpful. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Feed the algorithm so it can get the messages out to people that need it. People that benefit right? We all get, when you guys share that energy of love, it comes back to you. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. Number 19, the dog. If you guys have dogs, they're in the present moment all the time. They're in the present constantly. Okay. That's how you want to live life. That's where you want to be with a partner. You want to be able to enjoy it. Okay discernment okay prescience prophecy vision you guys are not listening to your own intuition i feel like that's part of your heart space that's kind of been shut down and um accepting help from another's and delegating authority has been taurus i've been reading for you for years now a lot of you have been dealing with this it's coming up in the reverse accepting that you cannot be everything to everyone you have to be yourself for yourself first and then letting the dust settle is the lesson here this is judgment the universe is calling you out on this okay call back your power are you going to be stuck right or are you going to move forward and boss up right hope this has been helpful please take good care of yourselves take care of each other and as always be kind out there